Native Island community, this is Chris. I'm here to do a, a day after Christmas uh, video. Just sort of uh, odds and ends uh, uh, towards, you know, to wrap up the end of the year. Some, uh, you know, miscellaneous stuff that's just laying around. Like, uh, you know, start out with this one. Songs of the Civil War by the Cumberland Three. So this is a uh, you know, folk album, Cumberland Three, which includes uh, John Stewart, who went on to join the uh, Kingston Trio shortly after this, and then went on to a, a solo career. So this has uh, one side, which is... Uh, Rebel songs and one side which is Yankee songs. <coughs> you know, so, folk music around uh, very early 60s, songs of the Civil War. And another one, as I was cataloging uh, my collection, I'm, I'm all the way up to the B.O section. So I had just done the uh, BL's Colin Blundstone. So old and wise. So this one wasn't in Discogs yet. So I'm going to have to add it unless somebody beats me to it, which I would think would be a nice thing. But, you know, uh, two LP set or two CD set. One is uh, old songs, you know, a compilation album, and then uh, the other CD is new songs. So, Colin Blownstone from the uh, Zombies. And then I saw somebody had shown this recently, uh, maybe several people, uh, Wendy and Bonnie, uh, 60s uh, duo, Genesis. So this is the uh, two CD set. So, folky uh, duet. Two, uh, this is a two CD version. One is the original album, Genesis. And the second one is uh, outtakes and unreleased tracks and things. So, you know, sort of folky, you know, occasionally might be psychedelic, but mostly folky stuff from the 60s, mid to late 60s. Um, recent CD I picked up, uh, Solo Jazz Piano. Randy Weston, Marrakesh in the Cool of the Evening. Um, I can't remember what, I think this is uh, mid-70s. But whatever it is, I'll uh, try to correct it in the uh, you know program notes. Randy Wesh, West, uh, Western solo piano jazz ish in the cool of the Marrakesh evening. And then the last non vinyl thing is uh, Roger McGuinn and Thunderbird. This is uh, called subtitled West Coast Legends Volume 4. So this is um, Beat Club from Germany, a DVD release, Rock Palace, rather than Beat Club, sorry. 19, uh, again, don't remember what it is, 1977. So... Sort of a uh, rocking version of uh, Roger McGuinn stuff. Rick Vito on uh, lead guitar. 
So, pretty good. I think it, the videos on YouTube, I think that's where I first heard it and uh, recorded it. So, finally got a, a actual physical copy. So now some other stuff. Again, because I've been uh, cataloging records, this was one that I just finished. Hard to see this because of the silver foil cover, but uh, Booker T and the MGs uh, Booker T set on uh, Stax label. So this is a promotional uh, copy version of uh, this album. The Booker T set. from um, sometime in the uh, mid to late 60s. And uh, a recent acquisition was uh, this Robert Hunter album. The Flight of uh, the Marie Helena on Relics. I think this is 1985. Robert Hunter. Uh, Sometime uh, writer with uh, the Grateful Dead, lyricist, and then uh, yeah, this Relics booklet came with it. Yeah. Grateful Dead related stuff. Back issues of the magazine are available. So, Relics label, Robert Hunter. Another recent pickup was uh, this here, Classical Smoke by the Kazanets Cats Orchestral Circus. So I had recently seen um, Comic Rama show this. I didn't know this existed, though I was familiar with uh, Kazanet's Cats and, you know, some of their bubblegum related releases. So, this is on the uh, Super K label. Has this promotional stamp here, you know, but I don't think that it's an actual promotional copy. Yeah, it is a promotional copy. Just not a white label promo, but it is, the label does say it's promotional only. So, Kazanet's Cats uh, Orchestral Circus doing uh, covers of various uh, classical artists. Beethoven, Mozart, Wagner, Scarlatti, Etc. Again, I didn't know this existed till I saw Comic Rama. So, thanks to him and his channel. Now, this is uh, I forget where I got this from. This might have been a, a Target purchase. Nick Cave. And the Bad Seeds with the album Ghostine. I think uh, some other people have shown this, so I won't spend too much time on it other than I got it at a reasonable price. Uh, 
2 LP release from uh, you know, current release. And then this one, which uh, if it had come in in time, it could have been in my uh, solo guitar video. Glenn Jones, The Wanting. So this is a uh, 2LP set of a uh, solo acoustic guitar. Oh, mostly solo acoustic guitar. It have, has Chris Corsano on drums on uh, at least oh, on the side four track, which is a side long track. There's the uh, label. One side of it, and there's the flip side, side four. Um, this might be Thirsty Moon, but I'm just guessing at this point. Oh no, Thrill Jockey. Thrill Jockey Records, Glenn Jones, uh, guitarist for Cul-de-Sac. Solo guitar. And then um, I think it was a Norman Masloff video I saw. He had shown this album. Barry McGuire and the doctor so just thought I would uh, back him up on uh, that so Barry McGuire on the ode label and then you know more Barry McGuire stuff with the new Christy Minstrels. Folk music from the uh, early to mid 60s. Maybe beyond mid 60s. Barry McGuire, uh, World's Last Private Citizen. This is on the Dunhill label. The Star Folk with Barry McGuire. So more folk. Folk Ensemble. On the uh, Surrey label. And then uh, Barry McGuire with his, uh, maybe his best known composition or song, Eve of Destruction. More, uh, more Dunhill release. Mid 60s. Barry McGuire. All right, so that was my, uh, my, might be my last uh, video for the year. We'll see. But, uh, you know, just sort of a odds and ends type thing or uh, odds and sods as uh, The Who might say on one of their albums. So thanks, everybody. See you later.